Alright, hey everyone, um, this is Chance988, and this is how you change out the hard drive of an EMAC G4. Um, you might have seen in my other video, this EMAC is actually overclocked to 1.132, I believe. Um, it's already on its face, as you do for everything else on your EMAC, you have to lay it on the screen. So, if you want to begin, um, make sure you have your hard drive ready to be replaced, and uh, Actually, that's a very hypocritical comment because mine's actually coming in from Western Digital tomorrow. So I'm just getting it taken apart and getting my other one taken out because I need it for something. Um, so as normal, you would take it apart, starting off by opening up the back door. Okay, the back door is off. We're also going to take off these two feet. Okay. Um, now that those two screws are out, I have a five millimeter metric Allen wrench. Let me find it. Okay. So now we're gonna take off these screws. Okay, so now that all the screws are out, um, as in my other video, make sure you discharge the computer by pressing the power button. You might hear some stuff click inside of it. Just press it a few times. It drains any excess electricity you might have inside of it. Now we're going to lift off the case. Just always be careful because they do have the power um, switch. And it's really easy to mess up. I actually messed up my last EMAC and had to replace the power switch. And it was um, pretty unfortunate because now it's an external super glued thing to the case. So lift up the uh, case about an inch or so. Carefully stick your hand around the back for that little switch. There we go. Alright, now I got it unhooked. So the case can just come off. You can set that in where you need to. In fact, it also gets kind of dirty, so you might want to clean it out. I did for mine. Here's the EMAC. Now, as we did in the last video, we had to take this off. By the way, keep your screws organized. They get messy because there's lots. You're taking off lots of screws in this. So make sure you get them organized because they all look very similar. I suggest writing down on a piece of paper and labeling. Um, this pile of screws is for this, etc. But you don't have to if you think you're that good. So. Alright, now we're just going to grab by these two handles. Pull back. And slowly... There we go. Okay, so now this heat covers off. I have my screws in a little thing. You can just set that off to the side too. Okay. Uh. Now we get to the dangerous part. It can be sort of dangerous. Okay, as you probably heard me say a hundred times in my other video, I don't ever suggest you touch anything over here because they can be very uh, dangerous. So stay away from this whole half of the EMAC because it can be generally very dangerous. So I would just stay with this area right here. And it's just a CRT thing. They hold volts of electricity, thousands if you actually want to know. Um, and it can be very dangerous. So. All right, now for this you have to have really steady hands. Um, in fact, I actually have a glove. Let me put it on real quick. It was my mom's washing glove, so I only have one, but it's what's better than nothing. All right, so if you look carefully down in the bottom left, you have four wires you're gonna have to take out. So pretty much, they all just come out like so. Be careful not to tear the wires from their casings. And just remember that there's four. Okay, so those four are out. The next two we have to take care of now are right here. Okay, so they're the next two wires. Alright, on a Generation 3 EMAC, I don't believe that this wire is actually here. On Generation 1, I have no idea. Um, so we can just unplug that one. 
This one you might actually have to wiggle out a little bit. Yeah, you have to wiggle it. This one is uh, potentially dangerous because it's your video cable. And um, you can really screw it up because you have three capacitors on the side of it. And you have really small wires that can easily break. Um, so what I recommend doing is you get your screwdriver. And if you can see... There's a little clip that clips around the base of it. All right, and you can't see from the camera, I'm sorry. But pretty much what you have to do is insert the screwdriver between the base and the clip and just pry that sucker off. There we go, now that it's loose, it should just come off real easily. Or if you don't want to do that, you can always do like I'm doing right now. There we go. Okay. So however you want to get this cable off, don't break anything. It's your only video cable, and if you break it, you'll regret it, and you'll have to send it in and stuff. Okay? Okay, so now we're zoomed back out on the EMAC right now. The next thing we're going to do is uh, take off these top wires in the top right. Actually, there's two in the top right. There's one in the top left. I don't know if you can see this white wire right here right now. So let me just disconnect that real quick. That's your fan cable. Once again, try not to touch that. It could be potentially dangerous. Um, now the other side. This is a link to your power cable. And you would just go around the other side and pull it off. You'll see it has a clip on and everything. So that sucker will come right off. And this is a ground wire. So be sure not to lose this screw because it's the only one you have like this. Okay. So that screw is off. Don't lose it. All right. So now we're going to zoom back out. Okay. Everything, all the wires are unhooked. Always make sure of that. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine wires unhooked. Uh, on the um, G3 Emacs, I think it's eight. Okay. Now the next thing we have to do is take off this fan set up. You can see it right here. All right. So to do that, you just obviously take out the screws that are holding it in. Three screws on this, it's four. So, okay. Four screws are out, all the wires are disconnected, and that just comes off, including this wire. So now your whole fan is uh, off. You can actually clean it. You can see how dirty mine is. Um, it's actually pretty gross. You can see that. All right. So I'm going to sit down my fan. <coughs> now it's time for the interesting part. We're going to take off the whole motherboard. It actually comes off as one piece, but you do have to take off tons of screws. First, you got to start off by taking off the two screws on the bottom by the super drive. You can see there's one right here. And you'll notice them, they're really big and they're coarse threaded heavily. So there's those two. There's actually two under here. There's one on the this is the same corner where you took off those four wires earlier. Okay, so I just removed two screws from this bottom corner. This other one has one screw. There's one screw right here. And actually that looks like it. Make it, make sure it's loose, make sure you have no wires connected because this is the moment of truth. All right, now you pretty much just pick up from here, in the middle, just pull it off. And there you go, you actually have your whole EMAC motherboard. There's your hard drive. Um, it's pretty easy to change that out. You can figure that out yourself. Um, pretty much you just put it back the same way. There's your super drive. And actually, there's your processor underneath that golden heat sink right there. So, good luck with this. Um, don't get mad at me if you break anything. Feel free to ask questions as usual. Um, Thanks for watching.